So we are now breaking into one block three yard quilts that came out in August. And so I'm very excited for this one. We are going to do the Synergy quilt. This one was the most popular when I surveyed my Instagram following to see which one they thought I should do. That one and Jules was another popular one. So Jules is coming later. I gotta find the right fabric for it. But for today, we are doing this Synergy. And yes, I can see that it means half square triangles. So let me show you my fabric picks and we'll go from there. So two of these are ones that I got from my guild that were kind of handed out as a, you can have these for free as long as you use them for a charity quilt. So I've got this cool teal, obviously in this room, it is meant to be. I thought it was a nice geometric print. I think it's gonna look really cool in a one block quilt. And so I needed to find the right match to go with it. And with that, also in that same collection of use it and it's free, if it's a charity quilt, this purple. So these two, are gonna pair together my fabric one and my fabric three. I think those are gonna look so awesome. And this gray is gonna be my fabric two, kind of my sashing and my binding. So, so let's take a look at what's gonna be what. Let me grab my book. So here is our Synergy, this one block quilt. And so where the black is, that's what's gonna be purple. And the teal is gonna be the white. And then the gray is going to be where that green is, so that fabric three. So I actually got that backwards. So fabric one is going to be purple. Fabric two is going to be teal. So the black and the white are purple and teal. And then the gray is going to be that fabric three. So that's going to look super cool. And I'm intrigued to see how this border comes together because I noticed it's only black on two corners and then white on the other two corners. So that's going to be half purple and half teal. So let's get cutting and see how this is going to come together. So here's our half square triangle pile, our regular square pile, our little split border that's gonna look super cool, and then a whole bunch of these that are gonna go with these to make the little blocks. So I'm gonna start pairing these up, and make some half square triangles, and get those going because we all know that's what's gonna slow this down. So I'm gonna half square triangle my little heart out to get going. So to make the big block, we're gonna make two different units. So we're gonna start with these two blocks here. This is gonna go up top and that one. So that's unit A and then this is unit C. And then this is gonna go down the side. And then this is gonna go to the other side, I think. Let me double check. This 
So this is A, and this is C, actually. Um, so, and then from there, the colored squares that I left on the other side of the room. So, you knit this one. No, this one is going to get this guy. And then this one is going to get the purple. So it's solid square matches where it is under there. So, and then those are going to piece together and make the full block. So then it makes that little pinwheel inside and then the outer squares. So let's see how this works. I'm going to make 24 of this one, 24 of this one. I went ahead and started sewing some of the blocks and I think this might be my favorite three yard quilt yet and it's not even done yet. I mean, I just love the colors, the purple and the teal with the gray. Those are like my three colors. Um, I know you've seen my hair in these two colors at least. And so I'm super excited to see this one come together. So I'm gonna go finish sewing the blocks and then I'll come back when we're sewing rows together.
here is the Synergy quilt, and I'm pretty sure it's my favorite three yard quilt that I've made so far. Even though it's got half square triangles, I think it turned out so awesome. Only a few of these little intersections didn't quite meet up, but I'm totally okay with that. If I was to break it down and do it a different way, I would have pieced these and made these solid pieces. So this would be a block and that would be a block, but then it would totally take away from their way of saving fabric and only using three yards. I think that would probably give it a little bit more because the block is actually this piece instead of this and this here, which I mean, that could be a different way to piece it is do this is a whole block and this is a whole block. Um, that might be something worth checking out. I don't know, but I kind of really like this one like a lot. So it's going to be a fun one to quilt up. I've already got some ideas turning for it. So let's not get ahead of ourselves. I'm going to show you this up nice and close and then we'll be back to quilt this. Yeah. 